What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we are inside of Visual Studio Community 2017, and we are also on a website, which is the same thing. As you can see here, we have an error, and it's caused by this ID3 tag library.dll file. If we come over here, and we do a debug, and we start the debugging process, we can see how the project runs without an issue. However, that is not the case for this page right here. It will not run we need to register the file so we're going to come over here to our start menu we're going to scroll all the way down to our v's our visual studio and developer command prompt for vs 2017 or 2012 or whatever version that you have this will work in anything we're going to right click on it choose more and choose run as administrator okay so we have this code right here this right here is leading over to my DLL file. So what we're going to do is that we're going to copy this out. I will have this in the description. We're going to copy this out, and then we're going to simply come over here and right click, and it will paste it in. We hit on enter, and it will register the DLL file for us. Now we need to do something else is that we've got another set right here. This right here, it is going to load it so that we can gather information off from the DLL file. So we're going to copy this out, right click, hit enter. Assembly successfully added to the cache. So the next thing that we're going to do is come down here and then as you can tell there's an I on the top one that we just loaded here and this one right here has an L. So we're going to copy this one, right click and paste. This information right here is what we are needing. And I have that right down here so this right here needs to be put inside your web.config file assemblies add assembly the id3 library and then all this information right here needs to be added in so basically you just come over here and you select it you hit Control c and that will copy it and then you simply just paste it in so we're going to take this information right here we're going to come over to our web.config file right here between the compilation debug for our framework. We're going to tab down one and then paste it in and then save it. Once we save it, we can come over here, reload our page, and there we go. So that is all we need to do. We got to register the file first. Once we register the file, then we need to get our token. I am Wayne Barron. This is Dark Effect Studios. It's out of Visual Studio and... Uh, uh, yes, y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.